Okay, we're gonna find the derivative of this rational function by using the quotient rule. So in this case, using the quotient rule, I always suggest just get used to it by labeling each of the pieces. So the numerator is gonna be referred to as F and the denominator is gonna be G. So in our rule here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the derivative of the numerator first. So I'm gonna do that down here as we work on it. The derivative of the numerator, well, we have six, a constant that's gonna have a derivative of zero. And then we'll bring along the subtraction and we can focus on that X squared in the numerator. This is just gonna be the power rule where we bring the exponent down in front and reduce the exponent by one. So two minus one is gonna give us a one for our new exponent. I'm not gonna write the one here for now. Next, we copy down the G. So simply to say seven plus X squared is gonna be G, our denominator. And from there, we wanna subtract and we're gonna copy down F. So six minus X squared. And then we need to take the derivative of G and place it next to it. So the derivative of the denominator, we have zero is gonna be the derivative of seven because it's again a constant plus power rule for the X squared. So the two comes down in front, reduce the exponent by one. So you get X to the first power. For our denominator, it's gonna be G squared. So we seven, say seven plus X squared, and then that gets squared. So we copy down the denominator G and then we squared it. Okay, from here, I would clean this up just a little bit and you may not need to do um, much cleaning up on this based on whether you put those zeros in or not um, as you were taking these derivatives. As you keep working on these, you'll get used to um, the derivative simply being zero whenever you get a constant. But let me write this out before I clean it up and give a final answer. This was our F prime, G, F, G prime, and then our G that got squared down here in the denominator. So the cleaning up that I would do before I give a final answer would be zero minus negative two makes negative, uh, sorry, zero minus two X makes negative two X times seven plus X squared minus six minus X squared and then zero plus two X, I would leave a two X out here. For our denominator, seven plus X squared squared. All right, I probably wouldn't bother, but we could do a little distributing, clear out these sets of parentheses. And then if you have any like terms, go ahead and combine those like terms together to get the very cleanest possible answer for the derivative. But usually if you show your work and get to this point, this is the derivative. It's just not the simplest form we can possibly get to. So I hope this helps out as you're working on the quotient rule. Um, label things with F and G um, so you know exactly where things get plugged into the formula as you get going on this and you don't make any mistakes on that. All right, good luck.